Hi, welcome back. I'm going to do a little bit more with my, um, I guess it's a binder divider, something you would put in a loose leaf notebook to divide sections. I'm going to do some dendric, dendritic monoprinting. I was watching a man named Henry Lee do some today, uh, earlier today. Um, I think it's an older video, but he was, um, he was amazing. He was just using black and he was actually designating where these, the color would go on his, I think he used plexiglass and, um, he was actually laying it out and then using a non-absorbent paper to actually do his pressing, not another piece of plexiglass. I'm going to be using another file folder to actually get the design going. And then I have some white business cards, the Avery variety, you know, just white business cards that I'm going to try printing on and just to see how that comes out. I think the camera's a little too tight, so I'm going to try moving it back just a little. Not too far, because I still want you to be able to see. Um, I'm going to start, I think, by putting down some black. I'm going to try to do this a little bit differently. I'm not going to try to, I'm going to try not to cover this whole surface. I'm going to put a little bit of color down. Ugh. I am so messy with paint. I just closed the top and splattered myself all over my neck. Yuck. <laughs> Only me. Um, and then I'm going to put, I think, oh, yeah, I'm going to get a little bit of purple. I only want a little purple. So maybe that's enough. And then I have some gold. And I think I'm going to put a little white in because I want some, that sounds a little loose. I want a few little highlights like in the center. That might be enough. <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to come out. I'm just trying a few different things. And this is a little bit of green glitter paint, which is very different. Okay, then I just need a brush to move it around with. Looking for my brushes, I hid them. Get my paper towel, take some of the water out. And then I'm just going to, where to start, where to start. I think I'll move the white around first because it's the lightest. Bring it into the purple, move the gold around, move the green around a little. Really should save the black for last, but oh well. I'll get up here and get some of this moved around. The green was a little bit clear, so the glitter kind of got obliterated by the black. Make sure I have enough. So I'll just move the black out to the edges a little bit. See, I said I wasn't going to cover it all up, and there I did. Oh well, I'm going to put my brush back in the water. I know I wasted it, I'm sorry. Um, and then I am just going to lay this matching divider down and squish it all together. I can see the, the branching already. If I hold it up, maybe you can see it too. You can see it kind of developing as the dividers come apart after I've pressed them. So I'm just going to grab a hold of this and that tab and pull them apart. And wow, I got two very good prints, I think. And I think I'm going to try the business cards first. 
and I'm just going to take them. Well, it's not going to get all of them, but I'm just going to lay it down and then press along the back. I don't know if I'm supposed to press this hard. I think for this, you're supposed to do it lightly. So I just messed that up. Well, no, I guess not. Not too bad. That's kind of cool. Almost looks like a scene. Of course, I'm going to break that up into business cards. So it'll be interesting how each individual piece comes out. And then I can do... I'm going to do a second one just on a piece of white photo paper. And this I'll do kind of light. Not nope, that I didn't get a whole lot on. So I guess I'll use it for my second pull on my other plate too. Because here's this one. And for that, I want to use my sheet of labels. These are Avery 8163s. And maybe I'll do these like, like this. And just do them lightly. And then lift it off. And that's what I got there. Kind of cool. And then I'll do a second. I'm trying to figure out what I did with it. I'm just going to take this piece I used before and put that down and try to pick the rest of it up on here. Or at least most of it. Mm, that one's. Although I can, I can almost see a face there. You can kind of see lips and a nose. So that could be kind of interesting to try to make a face out of that. Maybe I'll do that after. So anyway, let me put down some more paint. I think this time I'm gonna use more gold. Can you tell I'm a, well, I'm not really a gold person. I, when I wear jewelry, I pretty much wear more silver than I do gold. And I want more, I want this purple. This purple was really pretty, and of course it's almost empty. Oop. Hopefully I have enough in here to, I think I gotta take the top off. Hang on, sorry. Oop, now I'm gonna have a mess. A little more up there because I don't want it to get lost. Yep. Definitely old. Losing pieces of it. Off. Okay, put the top back on because I make a mess. And I know myself very well. And I know that I can make a mess. And let's see, what else do I want to put in there? Maybe some white. Because that can get kind of dark. Move that paper back further because it's kind of... Oh, okay. This white's kind of thin. Which might not be a bad thing. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. And then I just need my brush again. It still has a little paint in it, but that's okay too. A little bit of a chunk. We don't need that in there. Okay, right now I'm wishing I had my wipe off journal out, but I don't, so I'm just gonna put it in the corner of this. Kind of a pretty mauve color. 
when it's all combined. Okay. Put that back in the water. Pick that chunk up before I make a huge mess. Right in the trash. Pick up my other binder thing again. And put that down and squish it. I can feel places where the paint's a little thick. I don't know that it'll all be good, but we'll see. Lift it up. Ooh. Pretty cool. And I think I'm going to take these same labels. They're still a little bit wet. And I like the purple. So I'm putting them down and I'm picking up, picking up some more color for my labels, which I like that. And then I'll get another sheet of paper. not to wreck what I've already done and put that down Let's see what else I can get lightly go over it pull it off Ooh, pretty almost looks like a Rorschach image with a line down the middle <laughs> but we know I didn't do that Okay, and then I think I'm going to take this set of business cards and maybe put that down and pick some more up on here, too. I think there's enough left on that divider for that. Yes, I got a little bit of color in there. That makes me happy. Okay, let's pull the other divider in and see what we can get from there. I think for this one, let's see, what do we want to do? What do I want to do? Hmm, I think I'm just going to take another sheet. You know what, I've got another sheet of, I think these are labels. Yep, more labels. I'm going to do more labels. I'll do them like this again. Try to remember to go lightly. How about heavy handed? Okay, not too bad. They'll make pretty labels. Well, the ones I don't hit with my hand anyway, because as you can see, I'm, <laughs> I'm making a mess. Okay, and then I'm going to just come over here and pick up this bit over here because there's some labels that don't have any color. So I just pick that up lightly. Not too bad. Put that over there. Um, I'll just take another sheet of paper and just come down. I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to look for some pictures and see if I can't make some pictures out of this. So I've got that. And I have the one that had the face in it. I'm going to take these labels back that I did just that little bit on and see if I can pick up some more of it right there. Yeah, not so much. Okay. Well, I enjoyed doing that, and I'll do some more with the papers in my next video. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Have a class. Hi. I know I said that I would be back but in another video, but I sat down and I looked at these um, mono prints. And I had to come back. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I hope that you can. If it's visible, I'll put it up. If it's not, then I won't bother with this section. But I went back into some of these prints that I pulled. 
and I saw outlines and I thought I'd come back and show you what I saw. I think this looks kind of like a lion, a female lion, lioness. And this over here kind of looks like an elephant. The ears, the trunk, and the big eye. I don't know. And then I got this one, which, I mean, the eyes aren't perfect on it, but all I did was take a pencil and go back through and sketch over what I could see. And he looks like a Native American. Um, I don't know, it's a vibe I get off of this face anyway, is that it looks like a Native American. And at the top of the head here, there's like this little piece and I could see a feather going up there. So it's really cool. And then this one, let's see, this is the one I said I thought I could see a face and I thought it was a person face when I first looked at it, but it has like the beginnings to me of a bear. And then when I looked at it over here, it almost looks like a bear in profile too. So you see a frontal type of a bear and then a bear over here, which I just think is really cool. I mean, I, I think that this is something I could probably do forever. I didn't really look at the business cards and the labels because I'm gonna break them apart anyway. But in this set, on this label, I can see like either a little white polar bear or a white seal, baby seal. So, I mean, it's just amazing. I really hope that you get a chance to try. I mean, I did this with plastic dividers out of a notebook and some cheap acrylic paint. Um, and it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. So, thank you for joining me. And once again, thank you. Have a very colorful day. Bye. For real this time.